So uh, I'm Jason Steer, Product Manager for Europe for uh, FireEye. So uh, looking after our strategic customers and priorities uh, moving forward for the, for the future to make our company successful. The cyber threat is uh, a very much bandy term, but it's trying to define it into what, what is a threat today to most organisations. And uh, I guess we, we would consider the threat to be in the reference of advanced threats today, which the security layers that most businesses have invested in aren't addressing today. So there's, there's a new term that the industry have created called advanced persistent threats. And these have been designed specifically by criminals and attackers to breach through the security layers of firewalls, IPS, antivirus that we've invested in for the last 15 years. As a result, they're able to make money, create havoc and make interesting incidents that we see played out in the media every day today. The interesting threat to commercial today is the realisation that they have digital assets and intellectual property that makes them competitive. When you have your competitors and you have attackers from nation states trying to look at your intellectual property to try and compromise it and use that, that is your competitive edge and we've seen very interesting cases played out in the media in the US with General Motors. One of the very popular cars they invested several billion dollars in was cloned and copied for the Chinese market by a Chinese car manufacturer. That's a huge loss, a huge loss of income in that market as well. So we see this played out across technology, across satellites, across every sector today. So most businesses are realising that their layers of security aren't sufficient to protect them from the types of threats that they need to invest in to, to remain competitive in their businesses today. It's interesting, we've seen a lot of media attention around Stuxnet and Dooku over the last couple of years, which is very much state-sponsored attacks, trying to go after infrastructure at, at national levels, and we've seen the German power lines hit by attacks. We've seen a number of interesting scenarios played out in the Middle East of gas pipelines. When we think of the impact of that at nation-state, very scary and that's something that for this event is why we're here is to listen and understand what the risks are at infrastructure levels and helping governments plan for that and detect those problems. Uh, we, we go down to man on the street type level, we, our concern is really helping and educating consumers make sure that their privacy is protected, their data is correct, their bank account, that their identities are still preserved and protected because they're equally at risk from the types of cyber threats. And what's interesting when we look at this, the kits that Stuxnet and others are using is they're being morphed very quickly from $100,000 a day kits into $100 a day kits in order, as they, they get more widely deployed and widely used and equally successful. I think what's really interesting is Stuxnet and Dooku were out there for four or five years before they were really spotted. For consumers, in the consumer world, that's really scary. As an industry, we've broken down modern APT attacks into three stages, which is an exploit is delivered to a user via email or via the web, which enables a payload for a zero-day exploit against a system that hasn't been patched. The second part is the callback from that infected host now back to the communication systems, the CNC. That now delivers the binary code for the instruction to that malware. So those three stages a multi-vector, which means it could be email, could be web. And the challenge across the industry today is most technologies in APT de detection focus on one of those three. So the unique about FireEye is combining those three stages of the threat vector lifecycle into a solution that enables customers multi-stage, multi-vector attacks to be detected and connected. And the challenge we have for most of our customers when we talk to them is they're not sure they've been attacked when they do think they've been attacked, it takes them over a week for their analysis to tell them they have been infected. And let's be honest, in the world that we live in today, do you have a week to figure out have you been breached, have you been compromised, what has been compromised? And uh, as we look at legislation moving forward in terms of having to declare to market, so as we have in the US with FFIEC, people are going to have to be able to move quicker and react quicker to these problems because right now, most of our customers we talk to is the horse is already bolted, how do we get closer to closing the barn door before it leaves? And that's intellectual property and digital assets that they do need to protect. So I guess from a customer perspective, all we're asking for really is uh, an open conversation as to is there a possible problem? And for most customers, 
there are two types I'd probably say is there's those that are looking to be future future proofed and have some insurance against APT strategy because at CIO level that is a major problem today that they're looking to figure out but the vast majority of customers we talk to are looking to validate that they have a problem that they need to go and figure out so uh, typically after a breach or a competitor has had a breach and there's a reaction inside the business so I guess one of our key focuses is on helping customers come up with that data in an easy, low-touch way that doesn't make changes to the business, doesn't make changes to the, to the user behavior, day one. And then after 30, 60, 90 days, we'll give customers the data. Often it doesn't need that long. We have so many projects we've gone to customers and within 50 minutes, one hour, two hours, we've had some very compelling data that has made them make some decisions very quickly. So uh, Sea Dance, uh, for, for the type of market sector that, that you offer opportunities to engage with, is a fantastic opener for, for FireEye. So to engage with the levels of people across international government organisations, for us to have good conversations with and to see where that goes is a fantastic opportunity and uh, yeah, one that I'm sure we'll be repeating.